Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. When the fill-up glue is dried, we're going to take this part here and we're going to glue it onto this ring right here. Um, I like to mark this and I'm going to put a bead of glue just on the outside so that when I slide it in there it's going to smear a little bit of glue inside there. And any glue that uh, oozes out, go ahead and wipe that off. And as before, we want to make sure that this is centered on that ring the best that we can get it. And we also want to put a fillet of glue here on this side. Okay, so just uh, inspect that one last time and then we'll set it aside to dry. The glue on the shoulder is dry. Um, our next thing is to fit it into the tube and make sure it goes in. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit tight um, and the reason for that is because of the, um, the coupler is squishy and you're putting the rings on the ends and the rings don't perfectly match the circumference. So we're going to have to sand that off and I'm going to use some medium grit sandpaper uh, and when you sand always sand towards the coupler so if you're sanding this way sand this way um, if you go the opposite direction if I'm sanding this edge and I go this way what's going to happen is the fibers in this ring are going to delaminate so you always want to go towards the wide coupler The other thing you should do is round over this back edge because that's the edge that's going to go into the tube and if it's rounded a little bit it'll have an easier time starting. And then check it in your tube to make sure it slides easily much nicer now. It's like a glove. Uh, once it's done, uh, we're going to take some water-thin CA glue and we're going to wick into that edge to seal those fibers. Uh, whenever you do this, remember to wear your safety goggles. And any of that gets over the edge, make sure you wipe it off.
Okay, now um, we're just going to sand that down smooth. So I got some 220 grit sandpaper here. I'm going to take the edge off. And on this edge too, just kind of round over that, that edge. 